Okay, so the melody lines are exactly the same. Welcome back to another daily video. Today we're gonna be looking at songs that the internet has decided sound exactly the same. By the way, if you really like this video, you can always print it out and have it like a flipbook. You can take it out whenever you want and watch this video about music without the sound, which is a great idea. Anyway, in this video, we go a little bit deeper. We compare the songs in my music program and sometimes I play them on the piano. We do a bunch of cool music-y bits. Make sure to watch this video till the end or your pee pee will shrink. Okay, let's get started. Ed Sheeran's Shape of You versus TLC's No Scrubs. Let's go. Girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me, say. I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't think it's that close. I think I know what they're talking about. Let's get it into the music program and check for ourselves if it's similar at all. Pitch them into the same key, etc. Let's see if the melodies or anything is similar. I'm gonna play them on top of each other. I usually play them in one ear and the other ear, but a lot of people wanted to hear them just on top of each other. So let's do that for this video. Let's see. Girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't I honestly don't think that's very close at all. I can see an inspiration in the Ed Sheeran thing. He probably did use it as an inspiration, but even when pitched to the same key, they don't start on the same notes. It kind of sounds like they're harmonizing on each other. So right now we have both songs in this key. It's a whatever, D flat minor. The TLC song starts here. And the Sheeran song is like. I don't really see it. Yes, the rhythm is kind of there, but the rhythm is also very different. Okay, I'm going to say this one is not similar. And I actually do know the details of this. And Ed Sheeran is paying royalties to TLC for this song because he referenced it while writing. I don't think he should have. I think this is just clear inspiration, but not Stalin. Am I right? Shout out to my Tommy Craze fans out there. Let's check the Wikipedia page. Shape of you, blah, 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 blah. Due to its interpolation of No Scrubs, the writers of that song are also credited as songwriters. I think that's crazy, honestly. I can see why Ed Sheeran is careful nowadays though, because he has actually done some things that have been more on the line with other songs. I guess he just like, whenever he even has a hint of another song in his head while he's recording, he's like, yeah, we gotta, we gotta pay these guys. <laughs> uh, he's been featured a lot in these videos. By the way, this is the fourth installment. We have other videos similar to this one, so check those out later. We'll link to them at the end of the video. Sheeran said he wanted an R&B feel to the song, therefore he adjusted the original tune, adding an interpolation of No Scrubs onto part of the melody. Interpolation? What does that even mean? The insertion of something of a different nature into something else. I guess Ed has enough money to just give it away, even though it's not that similar. It might be that it's the lyrics that does it. Okay, I guess sometimes I get too technical with the musical stuff and kind of overlook the uh, lyrical content. Okay, Okay, so let's pair up the lines. Girl, you know I want your love. No, I don't want no scrub. Yeah, the first line, it's kind of close. Girl, you know I want your love. No, I don't want no scrub. Maybe there is something to this actually, okay. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. The more I look at this, the more similar they feel. What did I miss? And then you have two lines that don't really match up at all. Hanging at the passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. And come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me. They don't really match up that well, apart from maybe me. I don't know if you guys know this, but the word me is pretty commonly used in language. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm slow. I'm very sorry. I feel like I'm calling myself out of it. But yeah, it's a little bit of a roller coaster. I'm starting to lean towards that it was probably good that he did it. But I think that Ed would not have been in trouble for a lawsuit around this. By the way, if you like this video so far, please subscribe and turn on notifications. I make a lot of this stuff. Next. Copy. Or whatever you want to call it. Maybe not copy. We'll see what the next one is. Okay, so here we have Megan Trainer all about that bass. What a bop. What happened to that? Why haven't I heard about Megan Trainer in two years? Versus Coyote Happy Mode. Let's have a listen. I've never heard of Coyote Happy Mode. Yeah, my mama, she told me don't worry about your She says boys like a little more booty to hold an Okay, so before we even move on, I feel like that Megan Trainor song is very much like, oh, this is like a classic 50s song. This sounds like a pastiche almost of songs from like the 50s or 60s. I don't know exactly what decade I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about if you listen to old music. There's a lot of stuff that sounds very similar to that, both in melody and arrangement. So if that's what you're been
<laughs> okay, so the melody lines are exactly the same. They really are. But it's also a typical melody. It's just a scale down, right? Da 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 It's pretty much wanting to copyright the scale at that point. Let's actually get it into the music program though, just to check stuff like the rhythm and everything. Okay, so as always, I have time stretched them. However, I didn't have to pitch it at all. They are already in the same key, which made it a little bit weird. I gotta say, that made me feel a little bit weirder about it. But yeah, listen to this. This was interesting, actually. Mama, she told me don't worry about your The way it continues is kind of like the natural way to continue the melody on those chords, which are not uncommon chords by any stretch of the imagination, but it might sound, if you haven't heard a lot of music using these type of chord structures, like, oh my god, yeah, it's copied, but it's melody lines that follow the chords, basically. <laughs> There's a few too many similarities for you to totally just be like, yeah, no, it's nothing. I don't know. <laughs> it's very difficult. In the chaos of the world, they both came up with pretty much the exact same melody there. Totally different markets. Totally different everything. One's in Japanese intended for what I think is just a Japanese market. It kind of blows my mind, but I guess it's just not as genius as you might think that it is. It's pretty basic. Okay, so there is a mention of happy mode on the Wikipedia page. It says, all about this bass has also been described as melodically similar to the 2006 song Happy Mode by South Korean group Coyote. Or South Korean. I'm sorry. I don't know the difference of different languages. I'm an idiot, okay? Just, just leave it at that. I'm an idiot. Don't listen to me. And both songs have been noted for their similarity to the 1989 song Contact by American rock band Fish. So that song was even before the other one. So let's have a look at that then. The tires are the things on your car that make contact with the road. <laughs> This makes it even more obvious when you get kind of like the bossa nova jazzy beat in the background. It's a super basic jazzy melody on that type of harmony. It just kind of plays itself, writes itself. Let's move on to the next one. Jennifer Lopez on the floor versus Kaoma Lambada. Okay, Kaoma from Lambada. You haven't heard Kaoma from Lambada? <laughs> This is a sample, right? I'm sure I've heard both of these songs. Yeah. This is 100% a sample. I They would never have gotten away with just stealing that. <laughs> Let's double check it to be sure. But yeah, that's just a sample. Oh my god, the original is so much better. I've got nothing against J-Lo, but also she's got Pitbull on the track, right? <laughs> Pitbull. I love Pitbull. I just never want to hear his music. Anyone else share that mentality of like, I want Pitbull to exist and be famous, but I just don't want to hear anything he makes. <laughs> oh, so it gets even more complicated, actually. There's an original song from 1982 called Lorando Se Few that the Kaoma song sampled. And then Jennifer Lopez sampled not Kaoma, but Lorando Se Few. I'm butchering these names. I know it. <laughs> Sounds like the Curse of Monkey Island soundtrack. Not enough people use pan flutes anymore. Bring back the pan flute. 2020, year of the pan flute. Come on, guys. Portugal the man, feel it still, versus the Marvelettes. Please, Mr. Postman. Okay, I don't think I've ever heard any of these songs before. Let's have a gander. Ooh, I have heard this song. I apologize. Okay, it's only that phrase that's supposed to be similar. I agree that the first phrase is very similar. Portugal the Man seems like the type of artist that might listen to a lot of old music and get inspired by it, so maybe. Hard to know for sure. Not really a lot to talk about with this. Oh, 
Again, it's pop music. It's not rocket science. They could definitely have come up with that exact melody, both of them. And what I think really makes the Portugal Demand song work is the second phrase. I've been that's what makes it like, ooh, this is a bop. So yeah, I don't know. Here we have Lana Del Rey, Get Free, versus Radiohead, Creep, versus The Hollies, The Air That I Breathe. That's a lot of verses. I'm not sure if I can keep track of all these verses. Man, I'm feeling so emo right now. Wait, what are we listening after? The songs are so slow and boring. I just zoned out. <laughs> Is that an edgy statement? <laughs> I'm so confused. What what are we listening to? Are they similar in the way they're super boring? So they're unlistenable? All of these songs sound like when you buy a new synth and it's got like one of those built-in orchestras and you click play. Boom. Dun 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 dun. This is my commitment. My modern manifesto. Okay, I could hear that. There's something in here. I hear that the chords are about the same. However, it's 9 p.m. in the evening. These songs are making me really sleepy, really bored. I'm just gonna say this. I know Creep is an iconic song. It's too slow. It's boring. Fight me. Fight me in the comments. Tell me that I'm an idiot, but I can't even listen to them. Whatever. Let them copy each other. I don't care. Let's just have a look at if there's any lawsuits and move on. In January 2018, Del Rey confirmed speculation that Radiohead had filed a copyright lawsuit against her and her team for alleged similarities between Get Free and their hit song, Creep. Interesting. So there is actually, oh my God, the bulk of this Wikipedia page is only about the lawsuit. <laughs> Radiohead asked for 100% of the royalties instead of her offer of 40%. She denied that Creep had inspired Get Free. Okay. In March, Del Rey told an audience that my lawsuit's over. I guess I can sing that song anytime I want. Prior to the suit, Radiohead themselves were sued over Creep from the song we watched as well, The Air That I Breathe. They actually gave songwriting credit to that old song. Oh my God. Okay, I'll do it. Whatever. I'll get it into the music program. I'm intrigued now. It's so boring though. These songs are boring. <laughs> I sound like a toddler. Okay, so I got them in the music program. Finally synced up, pitched, whatever. First off, the old song. I don't see why did Radiohead have to pay them royalties. It's just the same chords. These are pretty basic chords. I was playing these on the regular in songs when I was like 14, 15 years old. And I'm sure people have done that way earlier than I have because I was by no means some kind of savant when it came to chords. In C will be C. E major, F, F minor. It's the most basic kind of like lone chords if you go outside of the key. I'm getting too technical. However, there's no black magic going on with that. So I'm just totally gonna cut the old song out. Let's just delete it. I deleted it. The Lana Del Rey slash Radiohead thing is more interesting to me. After pitching them, I can definitely hear it. You gotta acknowledge that there's just a little bit of similarities. Then should Radiohead get money for it? I don't know. Like, it's still not that close, but I think just waving it away like that make her seem a little bit unlikable. I gotta say it's a little bit weird by Radiohead to also go after someone for copying their song that they already lost a lawsuit about copying parts of from someone else. Does that make sense? I'm gonna put him in the right and left speaker because that's how you hear it the easiest. Lana to the left, Radiohead to the right. That's a little bit of a weird melody to me and that makes me think that they were inspired by it either on purpose or just in the back of their heads when they were writing the Lana song, but it seems too close for comfort to me. That's different for sure. 
Those are pretty similar. I think Lana's in hot water with this one, to be honest. I assume she paid them off. Let's just say that. Be happy. Be smiley. We need that in life right now. <laughs> we need a bit more smiles. Let's be happy. Radiohead got some money that they probably should have had. That's hopefully what happened i'm just guessing anyway maybe she just punched the lead singer in the face like bam 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 she was like you're not getting my money and he was like okay okay i'm sorry don't just don't punch me anymore that's probably what happened let's be real i'm also scared of lana punching me so yeah actually would you look at the time we'll wrap it up here click here for more music commentary videos click here for videos where i perform or sing or make music and i will see you tomorrow in another daily music themed video bye